Hey everyone, this is Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on the 2013 and newer Polaris Ranger 900 and 1000 models. Periodically changing your engine oil on your side-by-side -side is one of those crucial maintenance items and that's because the engine oil does break down over time and eventually you can get some contaminants in there, especially after break-in. So you want to reference your model specific service manual or owner's manual to get that maintenance schedule. This machine here is a 2015 Polaris Ranger XP900 and the scheduled maintenance for break-in on this thing is at 250 miles or one month of driving and then every 1,000 miles or six months of driving thereafter. Now, this process will be similar for the 900 and 1,000 models, but you always want to refer to your model specific service manual for more information and specs. To do this job, we're going to be using some common hand tools, including a six millimeter Allen key, T40 Torx bit, an oil filter wrench, safety glasses, rags, rubber gloves, a drain pan, and then we also have our tusk four stroke oil change kit. This comes with your choice of oil, an oil filter, crush washer, and a paper funnel. We're also using some contact cleaner to help clean things up when we're done. The first thing we're gonna do is start the engine in a well ventilated area for a minute and then turn it off. Once the machine is off, you can place a drain pan underneath the drain bolt and remove it. If you're not familiar with where the drain bolt is, on that rear portion of the skid plate, you'll see a triangle notch and that bolt right in there is your drain bolt. We are also using some machine ramps, but you do not have to do this. After that, you're gonna to wanna to tip the cargo bed back. The next thing we need to do is gain access to our oil filter. Now, this is where you're gonna have a little bit of variance. So no matter what, the manual at least wants you to move this intake duct to the side and you can gain access, but it's gonna be a tight fit. You can remove this heat shield. Some of the newer ones are gonna look different and you're not gonna remove the heat shield, but I'm actually gonna remove this duct completely and just get it out of the way. And some of the newer models, they have a little elbow and it's actually gonna be easier to reach that oil filter from the side of the machine. Next, we'll place a rag around the oil filter and use our oil filter wrench to break it free. And when you spin this off, there still will be some oil down in here. So I just like to tip it back as soon as I can. Some oil is gonna spill, but that's what the rag is for. Then we can clean up that sealing surface and install the new oil filter. With the new oil filter, you want to apply a little bit of oil to that O-ring. And when you thread this in place, as soon as this O-ring touches the sealing surface, you'll tighten this an additional three quarters of a turn. Then we'll remove our rag. After that, we'll reinstall our heat shield and our breather duct for the belt. Back underneath the machine, we're gonna clean up the sealing surface for our drain plug, and then we're gonna remove our old crush washer from the drain plug and install the new crush washer. If the old one isn't on the drain plug, make sure you check the sealing surface and make sure it's not still there. After that, we can torque the bolt to 12 foot-pounds. Back at the top of the engine, we'll remove the oil fill cap and install the paper funnel that came with our oil change kit. And we'll pour in 2.4 liters of oil. Always use the spec that's given in your model specific service manual.
Now we can remove the funnel and reinstall the oil fill cap. With the cap in place, we're gonna run our machine in a well ventilated area for a minute. We'll shut it off, let the engine cool for a minute, make sure we're on a level surface, and then we can check the oil level on the dipstick and make any adjustments that are necessary. And when you check the oil, just make sure the level is between these two dots. Once the oil level is set, you can latch the cargo bed back down. And that's it for changing out the oil on your Ranger 900 or 1000. If you need the oil change kit or any other parts for your machine, be sure to check out our website and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. Thanks for watching.